If you've ever been blinded by the chrome of a classic ride, ever dreamed of owning a ground pound street machine, you've got it. Hot Rod Madness. At Hot Rod Madness, we believe every car has a story, whether it's a weekend cruiser or a trophy winning classic. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Doc, how are you, sir? Nice to meet you, Tim. Okay, man. Nice to meet you, buddy. I'm looking at a really outrageous custom here, man. What year is this Cadillac? This is a 1959 Cadillac. I call it the Thunderjet Roadster. Thunderjet Roadster. Right. I based it on a concept car known as the Cyclone. But I thought that Cadillac kind of had dropped the ball with their Cyclone car mm -hmm. uh, between the front and back iconic part of the car. And I thought they didn't have a sports car in 1959. And I thought, why didn't they do that? So this was my <laughs> concept. It's a, I would call it a retro concept. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, back alley, Doc. I think you uh, you showed them what it should have looked like then. <laughs> Man, yeah. that, that's a slick looking ride. This is uh, basically the color of the car that it was in 1959 for the Autorama. Mm -hmm. This right here has a two seat. Has it's the length of a Corvette and has the wheelbase of a Corvette. It's got a 96 LT1 motor, mm -hmm. uh, LT1 front clip, and it's got a uh, disc brakes, air suspension, flamethrowers, floor shift. Okay. I mean, anything you see on this car is all one of a kind. All right, cool. Okay, it looks like it's been cut down and shortened. How many feet came out of this baby? Just under three feet. Okay. And the uh, windshield's been taken down almost almost three inches as well. Yep, everybody knows yeah. when, when they built these Cadillacs, there was a lot of metal in there, oh, man. Yeah. And you know what? The, uh, this is a, my website is CadillacWorld.com. When I build custom and classic Cadillacs mm -hmm. and restore Cadillacs, I moved to Georgia. I was living in Hollywood and just moved out here about four weeks ago. Okay. I just wanted to do something different. And I see a need out here for more Auto, right. Autorama cool stuff to happen out here. I'm glad that this place is here, but I want to see something happening every week someplace. Well, yes, sir. We're kind of on the same page. Yeah. That's what we're all about. That's we're trying good. to build it up too, buddy. And I'm glad to meet you on that. Nice on to meet that you, note, Tim. I'm glad to be on Maybe we show can work together a little more I hope in the we future. Can, because you know what? Maybe we can build something. Atlanta then. needs more. Yeah. We need to do more with Atlanta. To bring out more custom cars, more classic cars, more hot rods. Okay. Uh, you know, L.A. was the mecca. I'm here now. I'm bringing car culture that was in L.A. <laughs> He's here. here now. Yeah, that's it. All right. Rock Sab is here to stay in Atlanta. Okay. Well, nice meeting you, Tim. We might get it jumping then, buddy. <laughs> Hey Mark, how are you, sir? Hey, nice to meet All you. Right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yes, sir. Welcome to Caffeine and Octane, man. I, I love the show. Love the show a lot. Oh yeah. Well, the yeah. show loves you, man. Look what you bring. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's quite an attraction you have here, sir. It is. It is. It's a real attraction getter. What year is your uh, uh, boat? The boat's a '98 Sea Ray. Okay. It's a 185 Sport, and it's a bow rider. And um, the vehicle that it sits on is a '94 GMC Jimmy. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's a loud car. Yeah, that thing sounds good, don't it? Yeah, it sounds really good. Imagine putting that under my hood. I know. 
<laughs> but my uh, the vehicle is a 94 GMC Jimmy, yeah. and it's got a 4.3 V6 and um, six cylinder, and it runs great. And uh, it took me about a year to build it, okay. and really enjoy the vehicle. And um, it's it'll seat five people comfortably. Okay. My daughter and I have had this on the highway in the pouring rain. <laughs> leaving a car show yeah. um, up to 85 miles an hour wow. in the rain <laughs> oh, but man. she handles she handles smooth it's very heavy the vehicle it's very wide yeah, and it, it sort of runs like a cadillac heavy and wide and it just flows through the the highway man i cannot imagine cutting the bottom out of a boat and shoving a frame a truck frame into it and, and getting it running now where's the engine mounted up front here the still engine, the engine sits right underneath the diamond plate yeah. and th this area originally was the the bow rider section of the yeah. boat? Okay. And um, I put the uh, expanded metal in here so that air can flow into the radiator and okay. keep it cool. Every the whole car is a complete thought process. It took, oh yeah. It took <laughs> it took a year, and there's so many. Every little part of this boat took so much effort and so much thinking. I mean, I'd, I'd wake up like at two or three o'clock in the morning and make notes. Yeah. And thinking about the boat. <laughs> You know what I what I want to do and what I shouldn't do and yeah. where to buy the right equipment for it. I mean, every everything had to be perfect. Wow, and, I, I uh, could imagine, man. <laughs> I, I, I take it to car shows and Let's step over I, here I, out of that guy's way. Right yeah, yeah. This place is so crowded, man. Caffeine and octane. If, if you're not aware, caffeine and octane is huge, man. There's so many people here. It's hard to shoot video. It's there's, quite difficult. About a thousand cars. Yeah, there is. And there's got to be at least three or four thousand people oh, here. Yeah, it's a sea of people all up through there, man. But, and I'm, there, but just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm the only crazy guy that came in here with a with, boat. With a boat. <laughs> I want to look. I had a dock it. I want to look at the interior, man. Sure, I got to see go this. Right Let's check it out. Because I it's saw the a original interior. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I saw a complete dash, the steering wheel, everything's in it, <laughs> fully functional the boat. The interior is all original. Mm -hmm. um, my seats uh, recline, and they're also power seats. Okay. It still has air conditioning, um, AC and heat, um, power steering, power brake. Okay. Power windows are gone. Of course. Um, I've had so many people ask me, how do you get in the boat? They ask me it relentlessly, two things, does it float and how do you get in it? And they say, where's the doors? I go, it's a boat. It's a boat. It's not a car. There's so, no doors. So I put these fake door handles on. Wow. Right here, right. fake door handles. So they, they still pull at it and the door's gonna open, but use the ladder to get in it. That's just out, outrageous, man. It, yeah. You left the, the pole, the fishing pole holders, fishing you left those in there? And I put yeah. a little okay. uh, uh, skull in the back. The boat also has um, three horns. It has a, the original horn, yeah. I put in a ship's horn, okay. and I put in a ship's bell. All right. But it just, it's a lot of fun. I have the original shifter from the boat on the right side. Yes, you do. Has a compass in case I'm getting lost. Right, okay. Here's, the, here's how you get inside to okay. pop the fuel in. All right, there's the fuel tank. And there's all my wood right from Home Depot. I got about yes, uh, half of the lumber department in there. This is just outrageous, man. I mean, uh, I could imagine the attention you get when you're cruising down the street in this thing, man. I have the propeller in the back. Yeah. Did okay. you get the propeller? You kept the so, prop on the back of it. Yeah. And then That's, I put, I had to put diamond plate on the back because every time I would step in, or yeah. someone would step in yeah. on, on the boat, they'd step on the fiberglass and they'd scratch it. So yeah. I put diamond plate. Everything is a thought that's process. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah so. uh, you got quite an imagination there, sir. Well, I try. <laughs> I'm going overboard. That's what I did with my wallet. I went overboard. <laughs> yeah, sir. I went, I went really crazy, but I enjoy it. It's a great vehicle for yes, the family. Is. And yep. I take my son to school in it. Uh -huh. I take my daughter to school in it and um, go out for the weekends. It's it's funny when you pull into the drive-thru at a restaurant and yeah. they're staring at you and they go, what oh, yeah. in the hell? I go, just give me my food, let me go. <laughs> well, all right, man. I appreciate you showing your pleasure. ride on Hot Rod pleasure. Madness today, pleasure buddy. meeting you. All right. Enjoy the show. Okay, have a good time. Thank you.